Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on three different methods on how to waterproof wiring. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.forddiyers.com or click on the link in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, also don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for future tutorial videos. As mentioned earlier, in this video I'll be using three different methods which involve liquid electrical tape, self-fusing silicone tape, and adhesive lined heat shrink tube. When applying an insulator to expose wires or a connection, ensure the power has been disconnected, the area is free of any moisture, and clean the area off of any residue which can affect the adhesion of any of these products. These products are available at any hardware store, automotive supplier, and electrical or electronic suppliers. Making a waterproof application can be used in a variety of applications such as boats or any other marine vehicles, ATVs, ATCs, dune buggies, off-road vehicles, dirt bikes, tractors, farm equipment, or anything else exposed to the exterior elements. Having a contact exposed to the exterior elements can cause corrosions or a shorter circuit. I have done three solder connections for this example which I'll be using these products on. First starting with the liquid electrical tape, this product is made by Permatex. This product is able to resist dust, chemicals, moisture, weathering and will remain flexible once cured. Ensure the product has been mixed and use the supplied brush to apply it to the exposed joint. A minimum of two coats is recommended, wait 10 minutes in between these coats. Here's an example of the product being applied to the crimp connection as well. Next using a product by Permatex as well called a self-fusing silicone tape. This is a flexible self-bonding tape that can make a waterproof seal. I find this can be a little hard to apply if you're unable to hold the other end of the wire stationary and stretching the product further helps increase the bond. Simply use a razor to cut off a length of tape that you'll need. When wrapping the connection apply two-thirds overlap. This tape will fuse on both sides and once cured it will remain flexible and there is no sticky residue on the outside. Both the two products, liquid electrical tape and self-fusing tape can be applied to crimp connections as well. Here are a variety of crimp connections but not limited to what you see here. Liquid electrical tape can be applied to butt connectors, male and female spade connectors, either if they're connected together or they fit on a stationary connection or screwed on connections. Self-fusing silicone tape can be applied to other various connections as well but not on the stationary side. For the third product, I'm using adhesive lined heat shrink tube. Now remember when purchasing this product, there are two types available with the other type being the standard heat shrink. The adhesive allows for the connection to seal once heated up. This product can only be applied if you are able to slide the heat shrink over the wire. Heat shrink is available in a variety of sizes and some will have different shrink ratios as well. Cut an appropriate length, be sure to overlap onto the existing insulation. Then use a heat gun to warm the heat shrink which will make it shrink around the connection and soften up the adhesive. Normally when using this type of heat shrink, you may see the adhesive where the transition is between the product and the existing wire insulation. Unfortunately, this product is only limited to either soldered connections between two ends of wire and butt connectors. Here you can see a comparison between all the products once finished. All products do work great on weatherproofing those electrical connections, but depending on your application will depend on which product best suits your needs. This concludes the rest of my tour video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.